Got it. All right. Okay, so welcome back everyone to Electronic Technician Spring 2022. I'm going to go through uh, the information that you need to um, navigate through our website and also how to contact us in just in case that you need some extra help. Now, my number, uh, you, can, uh, you can contact me directly. Uh, I have my contact number. So this is, a, if you need some extra help, you can, Mainly you want to do is to text me to set up a, an appointment so I can work with you on Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. Or you can also contact Mr. Fam, which is on the website, okay? So go ahead and take down this information if you need it, um, but it's going to be recorded on the website. So Mr. Fam is going to upload it to the web and you can always get contact on this information. You can contact me through email or you can contact me through my uh, text, text me, okay? The best to reach me, it probably text me, okay? All right, so next thing you wanna do is go to the website. Now, let me go ahead and close this once more. Okay, minimize that out the way. So you wanna do is just go to Google Chrome. Okay, open it up. Uh, now, I'm already set up, I'm open up. This is my file. Now, um, so you wanna do is just open up the website. Now, you, like I said, you wanna do is go to electronictech.com. Okay, so you, you want to do just make sure you write down this uh, website correctly, or else you take you the wrong the wrong place. So say uh, copy this one, and I paste it right up here in the search um, bar, and press enter, and it will bring me to this web. Oh, mine's already open, so it's take me directly here. Okay, so all your homework and everything now. This is here, you're going to be using this menu on top here to navigate through throughout the semester, okay? So you have the home menu, uh, level menu, uh, handout menu, reference, videos, uh, courses, equipment, contact, calendar, upload, and about this course. So if you need to get more information about this course, you can click on courses and that will give you a lot more information. Now, the contact for the head instructor, Mr. Uh, y Fam, he's a, your head instructor. Uh, he will be giving you a lecture throughout the semester. Okay, and if you need some extra help or need to contact him, you can contact him through his email or through his cell phone number here. You can contact him, okay? Now, your class schedule will be listed here once a week. Mr. Fam will update this, so that way you know exactly what's coming up and what subject that would be covering, okay? So this is going to be, and where is the Zoom lecture would be. Sometime is Mr. Tai that's going to be running the lecture, uh, Mr. Tai Hong or Mr. Hong Pham. And today is Mr. Wai Pham and Mr. Tuan Li. Today is going to be Mr. Wai Pham. He's going to be the instructors to give you on this, uh, on the basic electronic DC fundamentals. So that's a subject. So if the subject you need to prepare yourself, so you can always come look at whatever the subject and then you wanna do is just come into your top heading, click on handouts, and then you can click and say spring 2022 tech one handouts. And then you wanna do click on the DC fundamentals. That is the, that's the first one. So click on that and that would open it up. And you're going to be using this information for the lecture as well as you're going to use it to assist you in your homework, okay? So it, got, it has a lot of information and we're going to be going, oh, Mr. Pham will be going over this material with, with everyone, okay? <coughs> so anybody have any question where, uh, how to get onto the website and how to get the handout on the, on the subject that's going to be covered today? Yeah, so I just got a question. Um, yeah. What about if your computer is not allowing you to go on to the, um, take the, what is it called? The uh, test? Electronictech.com? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to, this one, uh, you should be able to go uh, on any, let me see if I can go. Okay, so I'm going to open up a Firefox, for example, and I can type that in. Uh, so Firefox uh, contains continue to HTTP site. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I put in the electronic tech and it's able to open here. Because I'm putting it on and it said it, it won't let me, it says to open it, 
-hmm. but it won't let me open it. It sends it sounds like oh, like a virus thing. Um. Okay. Let me go ahead and stop sharing the screen so you can show uh, so you can show it to us because uh yeah, it's better to share, uh, for me to see it and then it's easier to to okay. let me see stop. Uh, let me see which share uh, stop more. Uh, let me see. We can stop share. Uh, okay. Share. Okay. Stop sharing. Okay. Let me see. Stop video. Okay. So we can stop. Okay. Uh, let me see more. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let me see. Nice. Okay. So we can. Okay. So stop sharing. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and you can share your screen. Um, okay, uh, wow, okay, so it's, okay, so that is, a, so you should be able to open it, it's, it's a one of those, I just like what I just have a minute ago on Firefox, let me see, uh, it's similar to what I just have on Firefox, and when I open a Firefox, a Mozilla, uh, so I come in here, uh, same thing, I and you can see that, uh, okay, HTTPS, only mode, okay, because I'm because of what I uh, what I said on my computer, okay, and so I bring in here, and so it did click on say continue on without the security with the with the S is security, um, you, you don't need the S, and so you can click on that, and it should be able to take you into the website. Okay, so go into the Firefox. Yeah, depending on uh, what uh, depending on what you're setting on your Firefox, and uh, depending on your your setting is like your setting on your security on your setting. That's why it's mine have quite a bit of a setting on here. So, okay. So, um, yeah, okay, yeah, let's contact me a little bit later uh, and then we'll definitely be able to walk you through and make sure you're able to get onto the website. Okay, uh, let me okay, go ahead. thank you. Okay, let me go ahead and make a note on that, Lewis. Vargas, okay. So this one you're gonna be uh, getting onto getting onto website getting onto the website. Okay, I will. Okay, yeah, just text me a little bit later, and we'll uh, after class, and I'll make sure I'm able to help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so that's and so that's how you do it. Now just get onto the website and just kind of get yourself familiar with the menu setting here, and then the, uh, like I said, the handout and on um, the subject that you're going to be covering. Make sure you read that materials ahead of time, and so that way you uh, be uh, be prepared for the lecture. Okay, and then if you scroll down below, it would be um, your for your class assignments, it would be say spring 2022 tech one assignment. And so assignment number one, two, three, and then you're gonna be using the handout that you uh, get from the website to help you, to assist you in answering these homework assignment. So say example, assignment number one, you click on it. It would pop and uh, you click once on it and then it would populate right here on the left bottom corner. Okay, and then you. Yeah, you yes. gotta share your screen. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I stopped sharing. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you want to do is go to uh, go into the website. Okay, so like I said, the website, and just use the menu on top here to navigate through the through the smart through the website. Okay, let me go ahead and close this one. And then you wanna scroll down to the bottom. Okay, like I said, you look at whatever the subject that is being covered, make sure you go get that material is in the handout. And you click on the handout menu, and then you click on this one here to open it up and to read that material. So, so you'll be familiar with the, the information and before the class start, okay? Now let me go back to the home page. okay. And then you're gonna be scrolling down below, okay? Now, later on, you're gonna be, this is the, when we have a class, in-class uh, meeting, it would be here. And, and so you can, you can come down here and you can click on the uh, map here and 
that would give you the address. And most of us know how to use Google, Google Map and that should not be a problem, okay? If you can't find it, let us know and we can help you. Okay, scroll down and then you come down here and you look at the spring 2022 tech one assignments, okay? So right now with Mr. Pham able to uh, upload it, three assignments up here, but these, he's gonna go through this information today. And so it'll give you a few more days to try to do the homework, okay? Do, do as best as you can. If you have any question, you know, contact us and we can give you an ex, uh, some extra help, okay? And if you don't need uh, any extra help, that's okay. That's good, uh, you understand the material. And for Tech 2 student, it would be down here. It says uh, Spring 2022, Tech 2 assignment. So for if you're Tech 1, register for Tech 1, you're only responsible for Tech 1, okay? But if you're an old student that's been here a while, you're gonna be responsible for this as well as part of Tech One information, okay? For them, it's gonna be a review plus additional information. For a new student, it's all in Tech One here, okay? So you click on the first one to open up that assignment. Okay, let me see. Did I click it once? Okay, there we go. Click once and then it populate right down here at the bottom left corner. And you click on that one more time to open it up. Okay. All right. So we come in here and I got a couple of notes on here. And then on here in yellow banners on top, now your may not may be different, but uh, mainly mine comes up that you can say enable editing to enable. Right now I can't type, uh, I can't do anything. They won't let me, I can type on my keyboard. They won't let me now I have to enable editing in order for me to, okay. Okay, so, and then you come in here, you type in your, your name. Uh, so, okay, you make sure you type in your name first thing. Now you're gonna go through this assignment. Okay, so I'm gonna enlarge this one a little bit more. Okay, so status is fail right now because I have zero points, okay? Um, I have to make sure that there's uh, how many question on this sheet here? So there's 13 questions. So I have to get 13 points right in order to get this from, from fail to pass, okay? And then once it's passed, you can save it. Okay, for example, for question number one here, express in scientific notation. So you're gonna be adding these numbers together. So the answer is in this case, is gonna be B for example. Okay, so you enter B and that's correct answer. You get one point. Okay, so the goal is to get the whole 13 points and the status would change from fail to pass. And then once you have that done, you wanna do is make sure you save this file. Okay, so save as, uh, mine says go click on browse. I put in my D drive, yours and maybe depending how many drive you have on your computers, uh, mine I have two, C and D. So I'm gonna put them in my D drive and it's in my folder, same. same. And then you wanna do is uh, for me, it's the spring 2022 tech one material. And this is Excel and then uh, I'm gonna be saving this one. Okay, so definitely save it, click on save, say four. Okay, I'm saving that. So I wanna make sure you keep the same name of the title of the assignment. So it's easier for us to locate and to give you credit, okay? And once that is saved up, now I'm gonna minimize it. So make sure you wanna do upset, upload only the past, past uh, homework. You don't wanna keep on, uh, don't load the fail assignment onto the website, okay? So, but this one, I'm just giving you an example, okay? So now once you have all completed, you wanna do is come into the website and you wanna do is come into the upload file menu, click on it once. Come down here and you type in your first name. You type in your last name. Choose and then click on this um, choose file. And then for me, it's in my D and then it's gonna be this number four right here that I just, uh, the one I just uh, did a minute ago. So click on that and it would show down here. Click open. Now it shows right here to the, uh, to the, uh, to the right of the it choose file. And then you wanna do is, uh, and that's it. You, this is assignment from tech one. So you don't do any else. Uh, this is section two. This is only for 
technician to student. They have to do additional step, but for everyone else, it just make sure you put your first name, last name, choose your file, click upload this green button. Okay, <laughs> click on that, now it's gone, okay? Now, in order to retrieve it to see find uh, to find out how many assignments you turn in, you can scroll down to the bottom, click on this retrieve green button. Okay. Now, as you can see, so this is the first one that I was uploaded earlier. Now, this is the new one that I just uh, completed a minute ago and upload. Okay. So the goal is make sure you upload only the past file. Not don't don't keep on uploading the failed one. I don't want to keep on seeing those. Okay. So any question of where uh, where to get the homework uh, assignment and where to upload it? I have a question about the schedule. Yes. Um, are we typically meeting Wednesday through Friday or will it be changing throughout each week? Uh, Mr. Pham, can you go ahead and address that? On the schedule? Yes, sir. Basically, you get one day in lecture in the future, not now, okay? And that you get another day for the lecture. And normally for at this time, up until January 18, we don't have a in class level after January 18, then you will be get three days for in class lab from three to seven p.m. Okay, and that two will be more flexible. The thing is, they not using the the level. Okay. Okay, the thing is, in the past, that means every day you get a left vote, you get a left, okay? But the lecture is still the same thing. Mm -hmm. One day for take one and one day for take two. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, any other question? Yes. Uh, Mr. Fan, Mar Marcelo here. Go ahead, Marcelo. Uh, uh, when uh, are, we, are we going to, to have the digital lecture? Which days? Hello, hello. Okay, can you repeat the question? When? Uh, when are we going to have the, the digital lecture, digital electronic lecture? Which days of each week? Thank you. Thank you. Take two, yeah, take two. What, which day is for take two? No. Start next week. Next week, okay, but uh, two days per week, uh, it's going to be Wednesday and Thursday? Take two? No, this week don't have a take two, you see on the schedule. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing your web page. Uh, you, 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 you said Wednesday and Thursday for Tech Two. So every you're going to update every week that information about Tech Two. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. This. Yeah. This schedule is going to be changed, and so Friday, and then once the week is done, then he'll update with the new schedule for the coming week. Okay. okay? Got it. So you, you want to do just follow this schedule. Thank okay. you. Okay. Anybody else have any question? One more question. Yes. After the 18th, will there be, for the rest of the semester, any online classes? Uh, what do you mean after the 18th? We're all in February 2nd right now. Right. So at the 18th, there's supposed to be a change. <sighs> and all to me. Right, supposed to, it sounds like it's going into uh, just building at the at the site at the classroom at uh, at the building for classes. But will there be any offline, meaning uh, hybrid classes, an online lecture, other than in class? In yeah, the still on Monday and Tuesday. Only all right. So there will be uh, online lectures. 
Right. Yeah, you it just follows the same set schedule like last last semester. You're mm -hmm. gonna be listing, you're gonna see all the listing here. It's gonna be uh it's gonna say Mondays like this one, it's gonna be saying uh Zoom lecture, and then Tuesday is a Zoom lecture, and then Wednesday it's gonna say either lab, Thursday lab, or Friday lab, something like that. It would say listed here. And so in lab, that means you have to go into a physical lab location which is in the classroom here so that so it sounds like uh, there's going to be a five-day class schedule then for this semester it would be but you know like i said the zoom lecture is going to be mainly going to be listed here and they're going to be reserving wednesday thursday and friday those are going to be in a lab a lab uh, hands-on training uh understanding uh the in-class rules to be in the class, is there to be any exceptions for students who are taking the hybrid classes at, uh, home, at home for lecture? Is that something that Mr. Fram, you could uh, clarify or is that something uh, Mid-City can only clar clarify? Okay, basically you have to go through the uh, online lecture. Okay. If you already know everything, you still have to be upload your assignment, the quiz, and the test. Then you can working on the, the in class lab. Right now, we get only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The, the reason they, they cut the hour so we cannot do better. However, later on, you still get the Friday left, okay, Monday to Friday. When they can, the hour. I understand what you're saying about your five day class. So the question to be clear, Monday, Tuesday is going to be a Zoom class. So there is no real, is there going to be a requirement for any students to, uh, to uh, be in that class as a student online? I mean, we don't have any, restrictions right yeah so is that something that you have to clarify or is that midway it has to clarify for student restrictions you you can't clarify anything right mr brown okay so, now so, so if i want to stay home and do your lecture then i don't i'm not necessarily going to be dropped because i don't attend the other three days okay now that is supposed to be however See, they just change the way they want to do. Okay? Look like they said if you not, you know, upload the first uh, for the COVID, then maybe they can be dropped. However, to me, they can drop but you still can get into the Zoom. Understand. Okay. I can, uh, I can sit in, thank you. Thing, I don't care who get into the Zoom. I just try to now try to teach whoever want to learn. I understand, Mr. Fan. Okay. Thank so you. <coughs> if you want to get into the lab to do the lab, you must get the vaccinate for the COVID-19. Oh. Hopefully they can go in back normal. I don't know when. We're working for the city. I have to follow. So if um follow-up question to that. So if if um, we're not vaccinated, um that means we couldn't attend the labs, right? Or is there a way that we could like do the labs at home? Is is that an option? 
Uh, yeah, from what uh, what I read is that uh, no, you have to be, uh, you have to have, you have to be, have your vaccination completed and then upload it onto the website. Only the mid city would be able to clear you, and then you can be able to come in to attend in the in class hands on training. Okay. Yes. But on the Zoom lecture, you can attend a Zoom lecture as many as you want. But uh, <coughs> eventually, eventually, you need to come into the lab to do the lab to get your hands-on training. Okay, so so there, there's um, so for me, for example, I'm not actually vaccinated at the moment, so that means I, I can't finish the this program because of that because I can't attend the in-person classes, right? Yeah, so you can continue on, you know, you can take in multiple semester and then uh, eventually, you know, you can come in to do the, your lab portion to complete the, the, the necessary to complete the program. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Um, I just did it a little, about an hour or so ago. Um, they'll, they'll send you the information on the email and it, it, they'll actually send you an email If you want to talk, turn on your microphone. You were muted, Joe. <laughs> I just mute it, so don't make a noise. Okay, Joe, go ahead. Mr. Speed. Joseph, are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, um, I can hear you, Joseph. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the, 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 the school, they'll, they'll send you an email regarding your uh, vaccination. They, I, I just pulled it off the computer for, and it says, congratulations, uh, you can attend the class. Yes. Yeah, you will get a confirmation from the Mid-City, uh, from the, um, the Mid-Cities once they uh, verify that you did upload your information and the correct form was uh, sent in, okay? And so therefore now you're open to come in to work in the lab. Comment? Okay. Real quick, uh, uh, directed uh, to Mr. Fan. Okay. Understand, understanding that there is a, a complication with uh, a lot of things right now, Mr. Fan, is it possible that you could still communicate with uh, management that there are students still wanting to take the class as far as a lecture and that if there's any question as to say funding to be more direct you know monies to be made available that there are students still wanting to take the class if that was expressed to uh, management a little bit more clearly a little, little bit more direct there uh, you would hope that they would make that the consideration that there are students still still wanting to get educated so uh, just uh, as just a suggestion if uh, you can influence management just letting them know that funding is still needed just to keep other students educated in some percentage of uh, whatever the rules are being restricted for right now they, there needs to be needs to be a modification someplace or at least an acknowledgement for uh, the other students. If you can influence, that'd be, that would be great. That would be, uh, I'm sure, very helpful to a lot of people. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, that is the CD you want to do at the time. I couldn't, I couldn't understand why, okay? You understand last semester one student complain up to the vice president about we display the number, the name of the student who already was let for COVID-19, who not. And she said this is not to, to be. That's a private C, okay? So that's why, from that time, I'm not display who already vaccinated, who not. I don't care. I never asking, are you vac 
in it or not, that personal information. You want to do it, you do it, you don't want it, so I don't care. And now for this matter, what they want, they want, if you want to get into the program, then you need resonate. That's what I not agree. If they online, how come they need it? Only thing is they get in the class lab, okay, for safety. They asking for vaccinate, I, I okay. I agree. Okay. I believe they will be correct that later on. The thing is, they will, if they apply that, they will be have a no student. Okay. Mr. Fan, my understanding is that um, if you if you do the online thing, you don't have to worry about the vaccination. You only need to worry about it if you're coming to a community college building and you're going to come inside. That's okay. I don't care up there. But why? Why they need it? I don't know. That's their rules. But basically, the rules have to be basically on the on the one have to be a right thing. I don't want anyone forcing me to do anything. Only thing I'm working for CD, they asking for vaccinate. I already did it. If I'm not doing it, then I'm not thinking. That's it. But for any student, I'm not asking for. Let CD do whatever they want, how up I control. I have a quick question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, regarding, because I was formerly in Tech One, uh, regarding retaking the uh, final exam, are we able to see which answers we got right and which answers we got wrong? That way we can we can precisely improve our score the way we need to? <laughs> okay. That is a hard question to me. Normally, for the TED, for the quiz, you only get the red. They're giving you A or B or C or D, E or F. Okay. On the quiz or the assignment, you can get the answer. However, right now, at this time, I think about putting the answer for the final test. And I believe, you know, better I can do it, okay? Um, you don't necessarily have to post the answers because then, you know, you technically wouldn't be learning anything. <laughs> I just, want, I just wanted to know if um if I could see like say what I got wrong that way I can you know that way I can go back and look at my formula look at the answers that I miss and then correct it and then improve my score the thing is that we don't have a people person try to go to each one tell you which one is wrong which one is right only thing I can give the key for the final, then you can take it out. But that just the same thing as giving the answer. The thing that we got to go through is tap and find down which one is wrong. We don't have a time to do it. That's why I said, I can give them to you guys the key, then you can take it out. The thing is the final test, every semester, 50% um, different. Not uh, exactly the same. So I don't- uh, You can take the um, final exam, you can retake the final exam as much as you would like, right? If you right. wanna say- right. score. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why I asked, since you, know, since you can retake it as much times as you want. 
That's why I asked if there was a possibility to see exactly what I got wrong. That way, when I retake it, I don't make like, you know, I don't make the same mistake or worsen my score or just randomly better my score without knowing exactly why I, why I messed up so that I can turn my weaknesses into strengths, if okay. that makes sense. Okay, normally we record it. So you can go to the website and try to redo it and you can upload it. Okay, all right then. I want you guys to understand, okay? Try to really understand in electronic. We don't want to fail anyone. Okay, so that's why I given you much chance to get your job done. Sometimes you're not in the Zoom on that day. You can go to the web and see the recorded for that day. I don't care. You in Zoom or not. Um, I got one more question, Mr. Fem. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the, I've seen the note that if you uh, gave a COVID test, I mean, not COVID test, the COVID vaccine in fall, you don't have to take it this semester. I mean, it's already been approved. We already been approved, so we don't have to have to do anything. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. We'll see on a couple of days. You can get notice from them telling you you are okay. 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 I believe it takes, it takes them about a week to notify Thank you, you yeah. about your COVID. Yeah, I believe, you know, up there, they don't know what they're doing now. No, there was a note that says that if you did the in fall, you don't have to do it again. If you give uh, your COVID uh, vaccine paper in fall, it means that you're okay for this semester. That's what I think. It takes the office about a week to notify you. Right. They're working on that. Right. It takes them about a week. I think myself, they're not telling me to upload again. I already did it. How do we tell the school? I, I don't have any correspondence about that issue. The, the vaccine. How do we tell the school we already did the vaccine? Oh, you can, you pretty much you can go to the website and then you can let me go ahead and share the screen. Okay, so um, okay, so what you want to do is go into the website. Let me see, and then I believe you can go. It's to, not shared. It's not shared. Oh, I'm sorry. Share the screen. Hey, why are you okay. doing this, Sam? Somebody had put on the um, on the chat. Somebody put on the chat about a Mrs. King. Did anybody see that? Uh, SD.edu. Okay, so what you want to do is come in here and it give you all the info. Uh, this is the information. Now the other information that we can be SDCCE.edu. Okay, so let me see, close that. And then bring here, and it's right here, and this one said right here, San Diego Community College District require our new and returning student to present proof of COVID-19 vaccination if attending in any in-class activity or class from the fall of 2021 semester. So you click on that, and they'll take you to, they give you a lot more information, and then, you scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, so here where you're gonna be, uh, they tell you where, they give you instruction where how to uh, upload. And then here, so you come in here, how to upload your vaccination card in three easy steps, okay? So you either <laughs> click on here, 
So you got step number one, step two, step three. So you follow that step. And then once that, and then once you complete it, you click a, click it upload. And then after that, you will receive a email from the office that whether you are clear or not, okay? So, and then the instructor would get that list of the student who are clear. And so that way, when you all, uh, when you come to the classroom and then we just, uh, if you are clear, you are able to enter the classroom. If you're not clear, then uh, you, we cannot allow you to come into the building yet. Okay. Uh, so when, here when you got, excuse me. When is the first uh, lab or is the lab, a, uh, is there a fixed time for the lab or we just go by our own time? Uh, we will, like Mr. Pham said, uh, we're going to try to schedule as many people uh, and then throughout semester, there's going to be a lot more lab room. As you can see, this young lady, uh, well, it's going to look like scroll. Uh, so it's like this right here. So you're doing practice, doing some of the lab as you can. Okay, so this is like the classroom. Okay, so this is the lab for tech two here. And let me see, we're going to be, it's this picture here. So this is tech two, Mr. Smith. And so well, let me see, it's gonna go through and this is tech two and tech two, you're gonna to get to tech one in a minute. Okay, so this is tech one hands-on simulation right now, tech, tech one simulation. Okay, so that will be available. Like I said, Mr. Pham will be, we'll be posting the lab schedule that's gonna be opened up either on Wednesday. It's gonna be most likely gonna be set for Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. Like I said, it's from 5 p.m. Oh, from 3 p.m. till 7 p.m. So we have to have a negative test. Yes, you have to. You have to have negative, and that you that have to be submitted here. If you want to do an exemption, you can click on this for that. How many times? Request. How many? Uh, times? I do not yeah. know how many times, but you have to submit it in. We only get. Once you get your name from the office that, that you clear, then we're able to allow you to come inside the building to do your, uh, into the classroom to do your lab. But we're not sure if it might be weekly, monthly, or daily, the test. I'm not sure. Like every other week or like if we have lecture every week, we have to get the test every week? Um, no, if you, yeah, if you get that, once you get that shot done and then you upload it and then it gets clear, that means you don't have to submit it anymore. You can come in now that it's clear by the office. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to keep on and submit. You only have to submit it once to make sure that it's once Tim, it's clear. I don't think he's talking about the, um, the vaccination. I think he's talking about negative COVID tests, which I believe you have to take every time you go in the building. Yes. Every okay. week, I believe. Yeah, so vaccination location, you can go and no, no, I mean the the COVID test, like not not the vaccination, but the co the COVID test is that like yeah. weekly? Yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, once a week. Once a week, oh. yeah, that is once a week. That must be clear before. Oh wow, okay. And then we will get the name from the office that your if your name's on the list. Like I said, when you come into the classroom, we'll look at that list. If your name is on the list, that means you're clear to come in. If your name is not on the list, then we can't let you come into the classroom. What, what would be the last day of uh, Tech One? Uh, that would be on, uh, let me go through the class schedule. That would be the calendar. And then let me see, calendar here. So February, and then we we'll clicked on there. Uh, so you got spring break coming in, Memorial Day. Okay, so it looks like, uh, so it's going to be in on June. 11th okay okay all right let me see stop sharing okay okay uh when the class start we will be um uh, that will be posted most likely uh miss mr fam need to give you some of these basic information first and we're going to show uh we're going to give you teach you how to do the lab and before we uh start to uh, starting to post lab schedule for uh, tech one to come into the lab. Okay. It will be posted on the website. Yeah, thank you, Christopher. 
Look like you got pretty good uh, information there. Okay, any other question? Oh, hey, Sam. Yes. Hey, Hugh, how are you doing? Do you have a question, Hugh? Do you have a question, Hugh? Oh, yeah, I wanted to know the uh, uh, test results for the final test. If we... um, you did pretty well. You passed. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, it's only, it's only the pretty much the grade is either you pass or you fail. If you pass, I won't say anything. Uh, usually, um, if you uh, normally uh, when a student that fail, I post that name on the in the classroom so that way so that way you have a chance to uh, do some makeup and then if you don't do the makeup, then you get you keep the grade. Okay, so. Okay. All right, anybody else have any question? Okay, look like um, they're ready to start, Mr. Pham. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome, thank you. Okay. Okay, so now. Hello, everyone, okay? And 14, I want to let you know minimum thing about this program. Okay, let me share. Okay, the electronic technician program. That will be stuff from May 1985. So you see that we're still going and look like I have been in running this program for over. 36 years, okay? And in the program, we get the four instructor. Thirteen. That is my name. Second thing. Thing. Okay, 
So at the beginning, up until now, we still keep the same thing. Like the first one, my wife am and only that a quit. The first two in total start the program. Okay. And in the program, we have to do everything needed for the program keep running. For example, on the software for support to the program, okay, on the hardware, like a left phone, if the system going wrong, instructor in the program have to fix it. If the circuit board using for testing, they not working right. Also, we have to fix it. Computer get problem. Network get problem. All that thing we have to do it in the program. So one instructor have to do too many things, I don't care. Only thing I want to, if the system going down, a computer down, and the instructor have to bring it up. We get nothing support from the city. The only thing they asking me if I get problem with the computer and they can help. However, I said, your guy help. You take about three weeks to a month to fix the problem. So my student, they will be dropped out. They don't have a equipment to do it. So that's why we do everything we need. So sometimes you can see some instructor, sometimes you didn't see. They working in the program. They have to do whatever I assign them to do. Okay, only instructor is electrical engineering and has been working for the company in San Diego. I can give you an example. Myself, I'm working at General Dynamics from 1981, retired on uh, I think uh, 2009. After or not 27 years. Okay. That is just a basically happen in this program, okay? So, only thing is you get a problem with COVID-19 stuck from 2000. So, some students, they almost done on 19, 2019, but we, they still cannot get the certificate. The thing is not completely done. So now they're still in the program. If the, the lab open, they can try to finish what else, whatever. to able to get the complete certification. We're working under the CDs. Whatever they want me to do. At this time, I just follow it. I don't care. When they're coming back to the normal, then I can decide, you know, whatever I need to helping the student. Nobody know what's going on in this program.
and basically to me, for online lecture, you can learn more. And for sure, later on, you still get lecture online. But thinking now to room in the class using for the lab. We don't have uh, any room for the lecture. But I still re prefer the lecture will be in you. Sometimes you study the first time you not quite understand. However, next time you study, you can get much, much better. Okay, so I don't care what CT doing. I just follow it. Okay. Do you have uh, any question, anything? What I recommend, you need to download the handout. If you get the time, go over. Okay. Keep reading, reading, reading. They will be in your memory and you never know. That will be help. So if in the lecture, if anything you not quite follow it and you need help, just go ahead and ask me. If I can answer you, I can tell you what. Okay, so you got any uh, question, anything? If it's not, then I will be stuck. The lecture. Normally, in about one week or two weeks, you can get that one will be to the lecture. And after that, you can get one. However, look like up until 18 of this month, we can, we can get into the in class lab. So that means you and a half week, that one will be get to the lecture a week. That two will be get one day. And after 18 of this month, then take one will be one day lecture and take two will be one day lecture. Okay? So if you get any question, just go ahead, bring it up. No? Okay, so let me get into my iPad. I stop share here. Okay, so now you can see that. You understand me how much difficulty in the program for continuing education, not like the college. The thing is the understanding the level quite different. Some people very, some students very good, but some students just start with the electronic. That gave me a lot of hard time, okay? So anyway, we go at the beginning. So 
you can say you can get the D, C, and you know, A, C. D, C means the right current. That means the current flowing only one direction from positive to negative. Alternating current, AC. And now you can see, this is the AC. If we already know that to be a side wave, that means this is a positive voltage and this is a negative voltage. So the current flowing one direction for positive and another direction for the negative. So that's why they call uh, AC. Now, where we can get to see the DC voltage? Basically in your computer, okay? Inside, they must be using DC voltage. For example, in your computer, they need DC 5 volt or 3 volt, 12 volt. That's a DC voltage, not a AC. Okay? In your microwave, same thing. Inside your microwave, they must be using DC voltage. AC voltage, if you're looking at the outlet of your house. Okay? With the oscilloscope, they will be displayed to you this signal. The voltage from the top to the bottom will be about 340 volt AC. Okay? AC is not do anything inside the machine, inside the machine, like the computer, lab phone, whatever, okay? Microwave, they have to using DC voltage, okay? So they're telling you the difference between the DC and the AC. If you're looking on that one here, when they looking into on the oscilloscope, DC will be just a straight line. They can be five volt, they can be 12 volt or anything DC voltage. And the same thing on this oscilloscope, you can see AC, they just like the sideway and they run forever, okay? And now, if you're looking here, you need to know a little more. This representing for the voltage, five volt, 12 volt, or minus 12 volt, whatever. However, on this side, there will be the time, okay? So that's why you can get two different, okay? One they call a time domain. And another one will be frequency domain. Now, time domains telling you the signal will be vary with the time, okay? And the frequency domain, the signal will be vary with the frequency, okay? This is a very, very de basic definition on the AC. And you need to understand, okay? A signal name will be the side way, okay? You have only side way, square way, or triangle way will be learning. Okay, time domain, amplitude vary with the time. Okay, 
Now, if you're looking into this signal here from the zero up to the top, that's what they call a V peak. Okay, from a zero, go to the bottom here, also V peak. In this uh, display, V peak equal five volt. Okay, and from the top to the bottom, they go a V peak to peak. And that's why you can see V peak to peak will be equal to time of the V peak. So now you can see here, V peak five volt, V peak to peak will be two time five volt, you get 10 volt. Okay. Next one will be the voltage, effective voltage, root mean square, VIMS. Okay. In order to calculate the VIMS, you take 0 0.707 0 .7 times VP. Okay. Now, what is the VIMS? Effective voltage. That means either you get a signal 10 volt peak to peak here. However, when you apply into the circuitry, they're not using 10 volt. Okay, the thing is they get positive and negative. So that's why they have to calculate that really what the voltage will be support to your circuitry. That's what they call VIMF. Okay, and the that one here, the time domain, okay? From here to here, that's what they call one period, a complete one cycle. They start here, zero, they go up. And now they go up again. That's what they call one cycle, okay? If I'm looking on the display, at this point, 0 0.5, and they said they will be a millisecond. So 0 0.5 millisecond. At this point, it is one. That means one millisecond. That's what we call period. Okay. Now, frequency, the relation shape between period and the frequency, then this formula T equal one over F or F equal one over T. In this formula, T must be in second, F must be in hook. Okay. So basically that one, any technician must be memorized. Must be. When you're looking sideways, you're able to know what we pick or what we pick to pick, if they need the VIMS to know how to do calculation. Okay. And also you know what the value for the period from that value, you're able to calculate the frequency in the formula we already given to you here. Okay. Now, Sometimes you need to know basic definition that have a lot. What is the cycle? One complete occurrence of repeating way periodic signal set at one positive and one negative alternation of a side wave. That may need to be between positive and negative. That one cycle. Frequency, number of cycle of signal that occur in one second. Okay. Period, the time distance between two similar points on a periodic wave. So basically, this is just a very basic definition if you want to learn in electronic okay 
Only thing don't ask me why, how. That's a definition. Try to memorize it. If you get that question, just stop me, okay? Now, next thing, common power of 10 multiplier. So at least you know, one million, we're using one, 10 power six. 100,000 power five, power four, power three, power two, power one. One will be 10 power zero. That means power of 10. And this one, the same thing. 10 minus six, minus five, minus four, minus one, okay? To handle with a large number in electronic system is power of 10 notation, okay? They don't want to get too many numbers. The number 10 equal a base and its power equal a exponent. For example, you get two four seven zero zero zero. Okay, then you can change to the power, okay, 2.47 times 10 power 5. Or you can get number 0 0.0369. You can change it to 3.69 times 10 minus 3. Do you know how to do it, how to calculate that? For example, on this one. In, in order to get the power, they will be passing the power. And now you say two point. That means right here, point right here. So the left over will be one, two, three, four, five. So that's why they power five. Okay? And the same on that one here. You want three point sixty nine. Okay? That means the number have to be on the time equal one or higher than one, less than 10. Multiply by one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now you pick right here. Okay. 3.69. So basically you can get how many number left over? One, two, three. That will be minus three, okay? So you count the number, of, okay, to the right, if the positive power, to the left, if the negative power. That's how we get that number. Okay, so that is a very, just a very basic, somebody already know. Now they want multiplication and division of power of 10, okay? So basically they get 1.2 times 10 power of 3 times 1.5 times 10 of 4. So what they want to do is just take the number 1.2 times 1.5 and the power add them up. That's why you can get 1.8 times 10 power 7. Okay, division, you take that number, divide to this number. So just divide 4.5 to number three. And the power, you get a minor, take a out here, minus the second here. So that's why you get 1.5 times 10 to the power of four. That's a, just a very, very basic. Okay, now you can quickly go telling me, convert the following number of 10 notation. Okay, that one here, I want to get the answer. Can you do it in order to get answer support to be They give the answer here. Okay. So when you go through it, 
try it to see what's going on. If you get the end question, we'll be go through that. Addition subtraction. You want to add 3.25 times 10 power of 2 and 5 times 10 power of 3. Okay? So you cannot add it if they're not the same power. So that's why they say you want 10 power of 2 or you want 10 power of 3, depending on which one you want. If you want 10 power of 2, then this has to be changed to 10 power of 2. If you want 10 power of 3, that means this guy here, then this has to be changed to the power of 3. Okay? And this is a solution. You can go through the solution and try to see can you do it or not. Then the next meeting, I can try to help you out. Power. Raising a number to power here from of multiplication or division, okay? So basically, you get two times 10 to of three square power. So basically, you can get the answer is two times two, you get four. And the power here, two to of three, Okay, that means power of three times power of three, right? You square it, it means you can get 10 power of six. In general, they given you in general here. And power of M times 10 power of n and m. In this notation, 2 times 10 power of 3, okay, equal 2 square times 2 to the power of 3 square, you get 4, okay? okay that then, times 10 power of 6, that be 4, okay? integer fraction, uh, fractional power represent root. That means you take the square root of the number, okay? And then they given you example and also the solution. You must need to try it. Now, engineering prefix. So, Basically, 10 power of 12, they go a tera, nine giga, mega, kilo, milli, micro, nano, pico. This, you need to get a law. When we're talking about tera, then you have to understand 10 power of 12. Or I'm talking about kilo, then 10 power of 3, or micro. 10 power of minus 6, okay? For example, they say the con converting 0 0.1 megavolt to kilovolt, or express the following in engineering notation, okay? That means engineering notation, then you can get either power here. Okay, right now this is power of four. You want power of three, not four. The thing is we don't have a power of four here. Okay, that means you get a hundred times 10 power of three. Uh, on this one, 0 0.1 times 10 power of three, what? Okay, so basically, you can change to the kilowatt 
กิโลวัตต์อีกวนอ่ะ thousand watt ต่อ ten ต่อ three watt โอเค and so on that normally you have to deal with the conversion when we working in electronic Okay, now we're talking about the power voltage. So you car, you understand your car battery. This is a 12 volt. Okay, when you turn on the light and your light head on will be turned on. Okay, the thing is the current go through the resistance inside. Okay, then that current going right to the negative voltage. The voltage is 12 volt, and you can calculate the current. Okay. However, one thing you have to understand. Normally, if you're looking in to the textbook, they draw the current flow this way. Current I. Why, how come you get the current flow? The thing is in material, they get an electron, electron moving. That cause the current flowing. So in textbook, normally, they draw the current going from negative to the positive. That's what they just telling you. They did a electron moving that way. However, we're not using electron moving. We're using the, what they call a conventional current. Conventional current flow will be from positive to negative. Either current will be just the only one current. When they draw it using electron moving, However, I said again, we're using conventional current going from positive to the negative. Okay, resistance. Basically, you understand resistance will be opposite to the current flowing. And now, they showing you, okay? A component manufacturer to have a resistance you go a resistor, conductor like copper have little resistor. If you say you're working, you see that simple here, that is resistor, okay? However, when we learning schematic symbol, or when you're working, you're looking in the schematic, that will be resistor, not this one, okay? This is a real one. The letter symbol, ER, unit of resistance is ohm, either ohm or this symbol. Okay, resistance just opposite to the current flow. Why we need the resistance? The reason they normally the circuit board, they apply only one power, maybe five volt or 12 volt, okay? However, inside the circuitry, they need a different voltage. They cannot apply too many power to the circuitry. So that's why we need resistor so they can get a different voltage for different current.
cái Need the physical, okay, on the register. You see register, okay, in here they get the band, the color band, okay. So just giving you a picture so you can see that. And now another one here, you see that? Different side of the register, okay. But they get a color here, color band, okay? And basically, the size of the resistor depend on the power, okay? If you want more what, then the resistor have to be bigger, okay? One will be two what? One watt, half watt, four quarter watt, okay? And also you can see, they can get a different power register. That is different, okay? So that only thing. Hey, when you're working, you see the park on the circuit board. You're able to recognize there's a normal register or power register. And also another, different, okay? Integrated register network. Why they want to do that one here? They get one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven register inside, okay? The reason they are using the chip to make a register, the thing is they want to set the room in the circuitry. So that's why you can see TV be, before, they're going to be a big one, now small one. Okay? Your cell phone same thing. The thing is they need a room to put a park inside. So they want to make a register using the chip register to say the room. Okay? quickly done and we will be stopping. This is a, what they call a variable register. That means this register, they allow you to change the value, okay? They say 10 kilo ohm register. You can change that from zero up to 10 kilo ohm, any value you want. That's what they call a variable. Okay. Tomorrow we will be continuing with this pair. Okay. We'll be telling you by looking into the register with the caller, how do we get the value? Okay. That for assembler. Technician, you know much better, but you don't have to. Okay, we're telling you later. But if you are assembler, then you must know. By looking into the color, you can tell, okay, what is the value. Okay, so up to this point. You get any question, any comment, anything else in this program, just let me know. Okay. Any question, anything, any comments? If we want to get um brush up on like the the math section that you just went over right now, it was those pages, um the three assignments that um what's his uh the other professor mentioned, right? That's where we can brush up on those skills. Yeah, uh, yeah, just going through the website. Uh, 
Yeah, just go through the website and then just download those and try to do some of those homework and see if you get if you get stuck on a certain thing, you can always you can bring it up on the next lecture and we'll make sure that you you understand it. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. The thing is it's a very basic for the technician. You understand the technician, the job will be more skilled. You can get paid more. Okay. The company don't want to lay off the technician if you know how to do what to do. They don't want to train them for you in order for the other company can be get a benefit from you. They don't want that. Okay? So you want the job more skilled, get paid more. Then you have to be a technician. For my understand, the technician can get paid that time I know that uh, one lady in my program, $25 an hour. It's not bad at all. And more, I don't know, depend on your guy. You interview, they understand, you know, you know how to do what to do. That's what they want to hide in you. I can guarantee. If you're doing a good in the program, you will be get a better job. I've been in the program for over 36 years. I know how to train it. What technician need to know? Okay. See, they call it the training for you AA, uh, AA program. Cannot compare to this program. So that's why professor in city college invite me to up there to looking what they doing, what they're going up there. I talked to him, your guy behind almost 10 years. They are, after they get a degree, that are very difficult for them to get the job. The thing is that not a hand-on training. They cannot get a left phone system like we did. Why? That cost too much. They have to pay about 100,000 to get almost the left I we get right now. Okay? And they don't have it. budget to do it. They just do just a very, very hand-on trending, okay? Not like what we did. If either electronic lab or digital lab, digital lab in the program, I apply exactly what's going on in the company I've been working on. So when they get into the company, they not be surprised. Okay. Okay, any more questions? Okay, if it's not, we'll be see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mr. Good night, Mr. Pham. Thank you. No, Thank welcome. you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Professor.